Hey guys, it's me, Sung Won, and I am very excited today to open Japan Crate's Premium Japan Crate. Look at this big honkin' box. This is full of snacks from Japan. Japan Crate was kind enough to send this to me, and uh, I love snacks. All kinds, I love food in general, so I'm very excited to open this up and see what kinds of goodies are inside. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I am extra excited. Ooh boy! Full to the brim with snacks. And let's uh, see what we got. We got um, this pamphlet that'll explain to us what the different snacks are. This is... So, it's got little little animal characters on it. It's some kind of candy. Fue? Fue Ramune? It's a whistle candy. Blow through the small hole to create a loud whistling sound. Oh, you know I'm gonna be all over that. Wow. That's incredible. It's like a candy, but a toy at the same time. Brilliant. Mmm. Pretty easy to bite through. Just good old ramen. -y. If you like ramen, -y, I mean, and I do like ramen. -y. That's very satisfying. Good start. Now we've got this panda thing. Sakupan Giant Wafer. So it's like a cookie, chocolatey wafer, shaped like a panda. You can look at the packaging again. Look at that. Look at that cute little cracker. Bon appetit. Mmm. The filling is nice and, um, it's like a nice, it's not too dense, but it has a good substance to it. And it's very, it's very tasty. It's not quite Oreo filling. It's like a little bit airier than that. Um, and just tastes like really good chocolate. Just took a bite out of this panda's head. Just killing this panda. It's kind of like a Kit Kat in terms of its overall um, texture and taste. Like the wafer and the chocolate go really well together. And there's a lot of nice... The filling is very generous, which I appreciate. Bye, panda. Aha, here we go. Shrimp chips from Kalbi, which um, I've had these before. Um, Korea really likes uh, shrimp chips a lot, so I grew up eating these. Yeah. Mmm. Nice salty, shrimpy taste. It may sound weird to people who haven't tried shrimp chips, but I think they're very satisfying. We got a little ah, hamster toy. I don't know. It's not a... Kawaoso no Kotsume. It's a gachapon prize from Amuse. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll gladly take a little hamster guy. He'll join, um, the bird I received in the- whoa. In the Doki Doki box. Also, yeah, this guy lights up. I didn't show that in the last video. All right, Chip Star. Looks like they're also shrimp. It's got a little shrimp on it. Kind of looks like Pringles. Mm. These have a stronger flavor than the other shrimp chips, which for me is a good thing because I like how they taste. You know how Pringles have a ton of flavor powder on them so that they taste a lot stronger than regular potato chips? That's basically what these are like. Honestly, I could eat these all day. <laughs> Alright, now here we've got Caplico Cot. Caplico Cot? Looks like, uh, they're like little hearts. Slightly crunchy, filled with an airy chocolate. Look at these cute little hearts! Hmm. Not bad. Honestly, just straight up chocolate isn't really my thing. I usually like to have a little more, um, texture, like a cookie component or, like, nuts or something. Um, but they're pretty good. You can't really notice, you notice it a little bit, but the airiness of the chocolate top layer is not that obvious. Once you're just, I mean, once you shove it in your mouth, it's basically just chocolate in your mouth. Um, which is fine. I, I think, it, I mean, it tastes good, but not necessarily, um, my thing. This is, I don't know what it is, it's like a, it's like a pop can, and he's doing a little peace sign. Sherbert Pero Cola. It's like a mix of American Pop Rocks and Fun Dip. You have a lollipop, and some powder for dipping. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. So you got your lollipop, and inside you can, uh, can you see, yeah, there's some powder in here, and I guess it's gonna be fizzy? But let's try the lollipop first. It kinda tastes like cola, but like slightly off. But let's try putting some of this uh, powder on here. I'm not really getting a fizzy effect, I mean, maybe I'm not putting enough on. It tastes like ramen mixed with cola. 
It's not bad. It's pretty satisfying dipping it into this powder and just kind of sucking it all off. It sounds suggestive. This looks like a do-it-yourself kit, which I will not be doing now, but it's very cute. It's got a little pink panda on it. I'll probably put- I'll probably have a separate video where I make that for you guys. Waku Waku Zoo Animal uh, Do-It-Yourself. So, you get- I guess you just make this... It doesn't even say what it is. I get- it looks like some kind of pop, like lollipop, I guess. But, um, you know what? I'll make this in a separate vid. Puru Mochi. It's grape flavored, apparently. It looks like little cubes of... Are they mochi, I guess? Square, sugar-coated, chewy candies. I like grape-flavored stuff, and usually, um, Asian snacks have a really nice grape flavor. Oh, they come individually wrapped. That's nice. Mmm. Wow. That is a very intense grape flavor. Almost a little bit overwhelming. But, I really like them. Korean, Japanese snacks with grape flavor, they're always, like, in your face. Like, this is what a grape should taste like. While America is like, oh, it's kind of like a grape. No, man. This is grape. Great grape flavor. I'm gonna have another one. Like, it's not, it's not, like, really too chewy. It's, like, pretty soft, so you can just bite through it very easily. This is dangerous. I could eat these, like, this whole bag right now. Makin Gumi. This also looks like some kind of jelly thing. Rock, paper, scissor, gummy. Try to guess which shape you'll get. It comes in rock, paper, or scissors shape. Uh, I have no idea. I will guess... Paper. Nope. Scissors. So this is some kind of gummy. Alright, let's give it a shot. I like that it has a little star one as a bonus. Let's try that first. Mmm. I like this cola flavor more than the, uh, one where you dip it in the powder. I think this is a lot more pronounced. Um, and I usually don't like gummies that much. Ooh, look at this. It's very easy to chew. My YouTube with a lot of gummy snacks is that they're kind of hard to chew and get stuck to your teeth, but this doesn't get stuck to your teeth at all. It's kind of weird that I'm eating this giant arm, but I mean, whatever. Oddly refreshing in how it tastes. A lot of American gummies, they just, they're like overly sweet, and I always feel like my throat is like super dry after eating them because they're so sweet, but this is just oddly refreshing and satisfying. It's like, it's like the perfect amount of gummy Easy to eat and not overbearing. I'm always flipping you off. <laughs> Here's some more gummies. These are some fruit ones. Fruit shop gummy. And each fruit gummy tastes just like the fruit it's shaped after. So here's an orange. Mmm. Tastes like an orange. I mean, Asian snacks, they know how to get that fruit flavor just right. Pineapple. Strawberry. We're so used to like the American version of artificial flavored fruit. They were like, oh yeah, and that's what strawberry is, I guess. But no, like, this actually tastes like a strawberry. We got some pine soda sangria to wash all these snacks down. Mmm, pineapple soda. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Not like a super strong taste, but, you know, good, uh, just enough pineapple flavor in that. And our last snack in here is this, looks like gum. One, two, three, green apple gum. Gum. An example of old-fashioned Japanese candy. Hmm. So they're in little squares like this, and they look like this. No color to them, but let's see how they are. I don't know if I'd say these taste like apple. They're very sugary. They're good. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but... I was expecting more of an in-your-face apple flavor after all these other totally on-point fruit snacks. Yeah, there's. I mean, it's like a hint of apple, but pretty good. So that was Japan Crate's Premium Japan Crate. That's the biggest one. I think it's about $30 a month for that. You can also get the Mini, which is like $12, and I think the Standard, which is about $25. And honestly, I mean, you get a lot of stuff, like a lot of different types of snacks. I love, especially if you're like me and you love trying different kinds of snacks and stuff. So thank you very much, Japan Crate. And I'll see you guys in another vid at some point. Probably when I'm making this panda thing, so stay tuned. I'm just a little panda.